the the middle belt and others are just waking up to the reality of what is going on in President Muhammad Buhari's administration and now they are really taking it far because uh, President Buhari has actually been on that seat for five years now and counting and these South South governors and uh, others other both the South uh, East and the uh, Southwest they've also known that this has actually been happening but why is it that they haven't said anything most of these people actually woke up when the NSAS protesters started they began to think that uh, really this is something that could benefit everyone in the country everyone just seemed to be sleeping before now but of course thank god that they are now very much aware and awake of what this government is bent on doing to citizens and even to states not just states to region anyway more details i'll bring to you because right now the national uh, assembly in south and uh, southern middle belt have is a filed the suit against president Muhammad buhari well we're yet to find out why they have filed the suit against him because recently remember that a lot of issues have been going down but they have not really uh been a way forward yes they've not been a way forward anyway guys more details i'll bring to you shortly but please if you have not subscribed and sure you hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on your notification bell okay right here it says that uh, justice okun aban of the federal high court abuja on wednesday joined the national assembly as a defendant in the suit filed against southern and middle belt leaders forum against the alleged lopsided lopsided appointment by President Muhammad Buhari's late administration. Justice Abang joined the National Assembly as the fifth defendant while ruling in an application to the effect brought by plaintiff through their lawyers, Mrs. Nella and them by Rabana son on Wednesday. In the joint application earlier filed on October 2, 2020, the plaintiff had said the National Assembly was a necessary party to the suit because its rights and responsibilities are affected by the questions raised for determination by the plaintiffs. The plaintiffs who claim to have filed the suit in the interest of justice, of justice maintain that National Assembly will be affected by the eventual decision of the court hence the need to include them in the suit when the application was taken first to the fourth respondent the president attorney general of the federation and minister of justice the clerk of the national assembly and the federal character commission respectively did not oppose in his ruling aban held that the national assembly of federal republic of federal republic is hereby joined as a fifth defendant in this matter the judge also ordered the plaintiff to ensure the service of the suits and other processes on the new defendants. In a separate ruling, the judge also granted the president and the AGF, the first and second defendants, who were represented by Mr. Unyi Kulesho, an extension of time within which to file their response to the suit. The request for the application for extension of time was not opposed by the plaintiff's counsel and the other defense lawyer, Mr. Mohammed Iliasu, representing the clerk of the National Assembly, the third defendant, and Mr. Garuba Zulfik for the Federal Character Commission, the fourth defendant. The judge subsequently adjourned the matter till January 28 for hearing the 16 plaintiffs in suit marked FHC ABJCS. 595-2020 and filed before the court on June 8, 2020, include a Joel leader, Chief Edwin Clark, the Affairs Ferry leader, Chief Ruben Fasoranti, President General of Ohanese, Ndebu, Dr. John Wonde, Wondo, and the leader of the Middle Belt people, Dr. Pogo Beatrice. Others are Chief Ayo Adibanjo, 
Alawi Bozimo, Mrs. Sarah Doketri, Chief Chukwemeka Ezeife, a Komodo Idong Sit Enkong, a former Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Kofurola Bukno Akerile, Professor Julie Umukuru, and Elder Stephen Bangoji. The rest are Halaji Tijani Babatunde, Mrs. Rose Ubu Foribo, Mr. Ad Adokule Ijogi, and Dr. Charles Wankeyaku. Some of the plaintiffs, including Adiban Jowundu and Bukna Kirili, were present in court on Wednesday. Also, the spokesperson of the Afeni Ferry Renewal Group, Yinka Odumaki, was present at the proceedings. The plaintiff's lawyer argued that under the certain under the current first defendant Buhari's administration, which has been in power since May 29, 2015, several sensitive government government positions and agencies are dominated by persons of the same ethnic and religious group, state and ge geographical zone. They contended that the appointment to the position of the country's service chiefs were skewed in favor of northern Nigeria. Plenty further claim that the president's appointment are a clear violation of the federal character principle in other statutory established Nigerian national security agencies or services. They, they therefore pray the court to order Buhari to reverse the lopsided appointment complained about and another order for the award of 50 billion naira as compensation for their constituents well i just uh, really appreciate the fact that these guys are beginning to wake up because it seems like they've not been saying all of this because the service uh, chiefs have been there it is only the uh, house of senate and house of rep that have always complained that uh, the service chiefs are not doing the work they were sent to do because of course uh, insecurity keep rising in the country but yet they are really not doing anything about it but recently it seems that uh, the southern uh, the southern leaders are beginning to wake up to the reality of what is happening in nigeria today and of course they've called on the president and others to put down a pen and also resign if they cannot make things correct in the country and it has gotten to the courts where the case will have to be judged but I'm not, I can't see uh, a way forward through uh, these court cases. But all the same, let's just keep our fingers crossed and see the next line of action. So thank you guys for listening. I appreciate you. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.